Okay, 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 what is up? Okay, seriously, what is up? Um, I'm Mason Eaton, and welcome to a brand new survival craft series. Um, this is episode two, and in the last episode, we actually finished building our brand new first house, and it was amazing, and we got, you know, to talk a lot, and I've never really walked inside of it when it's done, so let's go ahead and walk inside of it. Um, today, we're going to be working on the, you know, stuff in the house, um, like the lighting and stuff like that. So first, let's change it to daytime. If it's daytime, we have a lot of light because we have lots of windows. So today, we want to work on this. Um, first, we're going to put some lights. We need a light switch and a wire. And we're also going to need, um, well, we're going to need this. Um, we have to go on the outside to do this. Okay, anyway, ignore that in the background. Please ignore that. Please ignore that. Please ignore that. Uh, let's see, um, if we put a wire through right here, we do that, or we would have to basically add another plank right there, um, and then we add one right there, we have to do this, connect this wire with that wire, um, yeah, so we would put that on the outside. And that will go over on the roof. And go and connect that wire. So, you probably don't understand what I'm trying to do. Because, you know, half the people watching this probably have this around the ground. Maybe. I don't know. But, um, basically, we're going to add that right there. The light bulb right there. And, boom! It works. It's just little simple mechanics like that that make this game itself. Because you can't even like really see the wire that much. I mean, really, you can only see the wire through that, and that's it. I mean, the only way you could possibly see the wires is by going on the outside and looking at that. And that's okay because I can care less about that. Because that's amazing. That's amazing. Now that can go inside. You know, just you know, switch my light on whenever I want to. Only there's a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't really think that this is you know good. So we're going to actually add uh like like a like a line of lights. So that way it'll you know look better. We can see better in the dark. So we would have to you know not put that. We would, I guess that could work. And we would have to do a wire right there, a wire right there. And then we would put the light bulbs where the dots are. And then they would immediately turn on. Once I hit the light switch. Watch and learn. Yeah, yeah I've played this game before. It takes... A little bit of experience to learn that, but still, um, it's a it's a really good mechanic. Now we have a line of light bulbs. Second thing, second thing about this game, there are no beds in this game, meaning we would have to uh, we're gonna have to put down and make our own bed. So in this game, there are carpets, and you can sleep on carpets. It depends on, like, you know, you can't just sleep anywhere. Um, you can't sleep on something that's warm. Carpets on that, and boom, we have ourselves a bed. No, we don't have ourselves a bed until... <coughs> this light right there. Boom, a bed. Just like that. And even the sleep animation is amazing. Boom. So yeah, this is the little sleeping icon when you're sleeping. You have to actually wait while you're sleeping because 
It has like three little Z's. And then you wake up. Okay. <clears> hey. <throat> okay. Just gotta put some more stuff in here, like chests and stuff like that. Um, our chest, we'll go there. Crafting table, we're gonna need that. Our stove, the furnace. Um, second thing, our door. Um, first let's get on with that. Like, we have to put our stove right there, or our furnace. Crafting table there, and our chest right there. And that is how that is gonna work. But second thing is this door needs to be secured. Like, seriously. We can't just have some door that's so easy to get in and it's ridiculous. So, we have to put in, not a switch, a button with a bunch of wire. That way we can, you know, have people struggling to get in if they try to get in. You have to press that wire. Once you get out, you have to press that one. See, it's simple. It's a button, so no one can just walk in. They have to press the button. It's not really a security system. It's just cool. It's cool. I like it. It's a button. Which is amazing. For a Minecraft club. To have buttons. And I stumbled up in many Minecraft clubs. One of them had refrigerators. Wait, come on. This is probably the best Minecraft club. Yeah, it's not even a Minecraft club. I mean, come on. Look at it. Uh, this is definitely a little game. So, today, we need to focus on getting a pet. We can't just go around without a pet. Uh, in this game, there are no dogs and cats, which is very sad. But, there's wild animals that you can use as pets. So, we're going to make a fish tank. We're pretty much going to have piranhas, because who doesn't want piranhas as pets? Man-eating animals. Pets. That's okay. Okay. We're going to need glass. Water oh, can't live without water, so we're gonna need water. And water in this game, if I had to explain it with one word, if we're gonna put it indoors. One little word would have to be fussy. Because if you guys make one little mistake, you the entire house. Everything's gone. It's so annoying. I hate it. But it has to be done. Do you want to put thing? So we have to add glass like this. As so we have to add glass and then fill it in with water. Then we have to add in our piranha. I know the kids at school watch my videos. So, I'm not going to name them. I want people to leave in the comments what I should name them. Please leave in the comments, people, what I should name my piranha. If you can see him. I don't think you can see him. Where is he? Hmm. Problems. We have problems. There's the problem. Move. Come on, die so I can add stuff. Do -do 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 so leave in the comments, people, what I should name my piranha. And this is not gonna be our piranha. We're gonna have a second one. That'll be better. New and improved. Come to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. New and improved. Okay. Okay. So add the water. Step one. So then we add our piranha. We have to literally like throw it in there. So it, you know we can make sure it's in there. Then you have to be able to see him. So there he is, right there. So people leave in the comments. What should I name my piranha? It's your decision, not mine. And then when he when I pick the name, the lucky person to suggest a name. That person suggests a good name, and I like it. I'm gonna put a little sign right there, and I'm going to, um, you know, 
just put it sign with its name on it. And that's it. And there's that. And that's about it. On to the next thing. My bed is right beside my fish tank. Which is kind of, you know, weird. I mean, you know, because there's a piranha beside my head. Why would I want a piranha beside my head? So, that is why I like it. So anyway, um, basically this will just be a sign there if it's empty. When the name is ready, it'll be ready. Now, it's time to build some more things. Um, yeah, so, yeah, let me pause this real quick. Sorry about that, someone just walked in here. Okay, um, they had to get to laundry or something. Okay, um, anyway, we're gonna build something today. A piranha? You're one of his cousins. He doesn't really have a name yet. He, he, it's a boy people in the comments. It's a boy, so if you're going to name him, it has to be a boy name. Nigger pussy! <laughs> uh, see? Can't make a video on this house. We've got paid to. Yeah, so, make sure in the people in the comments, if you're going to name the piranha, you have to have a boy name, because he is a boy. No! I accidentally shut the door myself. So, today we're going to build... A nigger. No, we're not going to build that, Tyler. Today, we are going to build... An island. So what I'm going to call this island is I'm going to call it... Hmm. I can't remember. I don't know what to call it. But it's going to be a little far away. Right here. Right here is what it's going to be. So, the thing I'm going to do first is add a block. It'll be made out of sandstone. Sandstone, sandstone, sandstone. No, I don't think I'll build the island. I'll just use this little island right here. And this little island right here will be called... Where's my signs? Shout out island, where I will shout out anyone. As long as they ask me to shout them out. Or they leave a comment or something. If you don't want me to shout you your name out, then just tell me in the comments or something. You know, I don't want anyone me to shout out anyone's name that I don't want to. So, first person today that I'm going to shout out is... I won't shout out someone every day, but whenever I get the chance to. Dylan. Dylan, no, forgot your last name again, you know. You asked me to shout you out in another video, and I did. So I'm going to put you in Shout Out Island. So there, you're, you, congratulations, you're the first person to be put down on Shout Out Island. My tablet is going dead, so we're going to have to end this video pretty soon, even though it is. Sorry we didn't get a lot done in this video today. Well, anyway, goodbye, and I wish you all a very good survival craft night. Bye-bye.